Well, now only on Eyewitness News tonight, some local business owners say that they have been robbed time and again. They are sick of it, so they have turned to high-tech security and caught criminals in the act. Eyewitness News reporter Elizabeth Herr is in southwest Philadelphia with that story. Well, take a look at this. This is a flyer police actually went around handing out today to neighboring business owners, using this case as an example, urging others to beef up their security to cut crime. This is surveillance video of a burglary in progress. One thief caught on one camera on the left side of your screen, then a second thief on a different camera on the right side of your screen. Now what you see here is what Dion Mason saw on his cell phone. I was excited, but scared at the same time. As it was happening. I noticed someone walking in the yard that wasn't supposed to be there at that time. According to Mason's landlord, who is also the president of Southwest Used Auto Parts Association, there's been a rash of robberies in the area. His business alone hit six times in the last two months. What he was doing was he was hooking up a wire, an electric cord, to run all the way up to the front so he could use his saw. We're told the thieves were using electric saws and cutting catalytic converters from cars. Frustrated, Mason and his landlord called new technology and installed this security system. It allows them to log into the system on a smartphone, then view the video live from anywhere. This technology is fairly new with, with that particular type of camera. The camera automatically adjusts the lighting. The video you see here is from Sunday night at 11. Mason was home at the time, but rushed over with police just as soon as he saw the video on his phone. I was just excited that we had caught him, finally. Unfortunately, we're told the second thief caught in the surveillance video got away, so police are asking anyone with information about that suspect to give them a call. Reporting from Southwest Philadelphia, I'm Elizabeth Hurst, CBS3 Eyewitness News.